Madison firefighters hope a proposed ordinance will cut down on careless kitchen fires. And it is the leading cause of residential fires and tonight's top story. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. Fire leaders in Madison say enough is enough. They are pushing an unprecedented ordinance that, as News 3's Mark Lovacott finds, aims to punish those who put lives on the line. We've all been there. It's time for dinner. You put something in the oven and you completely forget about it. Madison Fire says not only is it becoming more common, but it's a very, very big problem. Chances are when a fire truck leaves the station, firefighters are responding to a kitchen fire. This is something that just keeps happening. It's the leading cause of fires in Madison and nationwide, but in Madison, fire leaders say it needs to stop. We're talking about the most egregious offenders. We're talking about people who say, oh yeah, I've been out drinking all night. Now I'm going to try frying chicken. And that has happened. Drunk cooking, as odd as that sounds, is being compared to drunk driving. And it happens more than you might think. But what we want people to do is think and say, you know, I can't just turn something on high and walk away. It was an aha moment for me. Madison Alder Paul Skidmore, one of the sponsors of the proposed ordinance, says it just makes sense. The ordinance would penalize those serious kitchen fire offenders with a maximum fine of $5,000. A fine wouldn't always happen, and the amount would change based on how serious the fire or the threat. It's going to provide some uh, accountability and some penalties for people that have really negligent uh, um, behavior related to cooking. Madison Fire says it's not about citing people, it's about common sense and starting a conversation about this real dangerous problem that's completely preventable. If you can't stand up because you're that inebriated, then by golly, you shouldn't be cooking. In the last four years, there has only been one fire related death in Madison, and this was the scene in August of last year, a cooking fire that claimed a woman's life. Fire investigators say it was the perfect storm. The victim was intoxicated and was cooking. There were also no working smoke alarms in her home. Fire officials hope a fine might get people to think twice before acting carelessly. The ordinance is getting some tweaking right now in a city committee. The city council could vote on this sometime in December. All right, Mark, thank you very mm -hmm. much.